Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're having a, doing a video on RDAs. Uh, I'm going to be doing a review, build, and wick of the Dead Rabbit. This is my goon, Mechmon, with the drop RDA on it. Built wick by myself. Uh, I'm vaping right now the Zample Box uh, Blueberry Milkshake. Pretty dang nice. Let's dive down. And here we are at my workbench. And there's the box in the dead rabbit. Oh, I love this RDA. This is a great RDA. Love it. God, I love it. Easy to build. Just a great RDA. So there it is. I got the gold green cap. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then it comes with a bag of goodies. Put that box aside. And this is by Hell Vape. And uh, really, really love it. Designed by them. Built by, uh, oh heck, I can't think of it. Well, it's designed by Heathen. Built by Hellvate. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Heathen, you have it, man. You the man. You get, And it comes with a squonk pin for squonkers. New set screws, O-rings, Allen wrenches. Uh, 510, no, that's 810. And then a 510 drip tip adapter. Pretty nice. And now for the star of the show, the dead rabbit. So, the last video I did was on RTA. Well, this is an RDA. So, you basically get a drip tip, a cap, the cover, and the build post. Okay, it's a dripper. So... There's your airflow sleeve, that's your airflow, and you get you can adjust it, you know. You got two, or you can turn it to where there's just one. That one's closed off. I like rocking it with, with both open, just going to town. It is, the airflow, you guys bring it in here, maybe you can see it. But see how it's angled down? It's not just a straight top airflow, it's angled down. What's nice about this is for, well, I'll include myself first, new guys that are they're dripping RDAs, this acts as a um, juice reservoir because you can fill all the way up to here without leaking. You just can't take the cap off, but you can always take this part off or you just drip through the top was what they're designed for now dead rabbits nice because as you guys see there it looks like a dead rabbit ears right dead rabbit put your coil in to the top you got your positive and you got your negative you put your coil in and you snip underneath there see the gap between them you can snip your coils there so you don't have to pre-cut as much. A drop RDA, even far more so you don't have to pre-cut as much because you're, it goes down even deeper juice well. But you know for, for this build I think we're just going to go with good old alien coils. Um, RDAs are where it gets real. It really gets addicting and it really really just enjoy building RDAs. Uh, they're the ones that, that you've heard stories of, of mods blowing up, especially on, on mech mods, mechanical mods like this tugboat. 
I mean, it's straight battery there. Boom. There's no nothing, nothing in between. But the vape. is awesome flavor is awesome I love them just not good for driving down the roads like like RTAs you got a tank RTA is an RDA with a tank on them you fill them full of five mils two mils whatever the tank holds and away you go but uh, back on subject we're gonna do the alien coils let me find it here near 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 where is that twisted alien clapped it all right, so we're gonna do two aliens. Aliens are pretty good coils. Um, I really like them. They're a flat coil, so you gotta kind of watch on some of these builds on the RDAs and RTAs. You might actually have to twist the coil to get it into the to your post. To tighten them down some of them like the I mean I'll even show you guys right now my wasp nano okay probably not many people have seen this little RDA but there it is you got your tip and you got your build post your build deck it's a single coil but you can see that this is one of your posts and this is one of your posts. So you have to basically add a loop to your coil and offset it to get it to fit in. Wicking it as simple as can be. I'll go over this more in the review. It does like to name palm though. Back to the dead rabbit. Love this. Love this RDA. So we got our just regular screws here. Straight straight screwdriver. I'll open them up. And just adjust them, you know, to where you can get your, your coil in. Nice and easy. And I, I better put it on my ohmmeter. meter. Just to be good. I love these. Get these at Vape Vault. I don't know if you get them anywhere else, but I really like these. I wish I had about 30 more of them. So, Dead Rabbit, Velocity style deck. So you can drop it in. Come on, tell me I opened it up enough. And that's about as far as it'll drop in. So you have to pre cut a little bit with these. You know, you don't want your coil that high. So I'll stick it in like so, grab it with my my fingers, and I'll pull it back out. Okay, that's about where I want to cut it. But you know what? I'll, I'll change it. I'll, I'll just make it a little longer. That way, I can always trim more off if need be. Definitely when you're building these, put your finger over it so you catch the other end that flies off. They do like to fly. I don't have that one open up enough. Nope. Okay. There we go. Now an RDA is you want to make sure you're not touching, you're not shorting out. You want to be up above it just a little bit, you know, nice and clear. Put your cap on it. Oop, give me get back on the screen. Put your cap on it, make sure it all lines up good. Yeah, I like that. So we'll, we'll snug it up a little bit. And then we'll snip them ends off underneath so you guys can see what makes this de dead rabbit so nice. And when uh, Heathen was designing this RDA, so too was I can't think of the youtuber right now but the designer of the drop at the same time and both of them were a little nervous you know when they were when they were doing it because they both sounded really close to 
to the same. But they're they can't be they couldn't be more different. There's that one. And when you're snipping inside, you want to make sure you, that you don't take your your snips and they fall down inside. You want to make sure, you want to get them out. You don't want to leave them in there. So we'll leave that just like that. That's good. Grab our second one here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cheat. Make it easy on me. I've been messing with so many other RDAs and RTAs. I've gotten in a habit of just doing this. Just measuring it out. Well, one of my coil rods. And just pre-cutting them. And then I don't got to worry about getting something off. Out of whack. <clears throat> just makes it easier. Get on her. Come on, I know you're three. Don't be stubborn. There you go. Alright, so we got that there, that there. Alright, we're going to go ahead and snip it. Put my finger over it, cover it, boom, done. Alright, we'll take this off. Turn it around. Hopefully it slides back on. There we go. See it? Look at that. It would just be stubborn to begin with. And we'll snip that one. Catch that tag. Then we can pull them both off. <clears throat> and put them in the post. The deck and get to wicking. Drop them in. And again, make sure they're not shorting out. You don't want them to touch the post. The only thing you want to touch the post is just your, your lead wires. And I just like to snug them up to begin with. Just to, I mean, in case something happens, you know, I need to make another adjustment. I can, and I'm not, I don't have the wire already crunched and smashed to where I have to do another, hold another coil. It's kind of expensive that way. Whoop. Blooper. Put that back in there. All right. Get in there. Why are you being stubborn? There you go. Just up above it. I mean, you really got to pay attention to these close. Because if you don't and they short out, that's what's nice about an ohm meter, is it won't let it short out to where if you do it on a regulated mod like the switcher or the smocks or my drag from Vupu, okay, it shorts out on this, and if it does fire, it's trash. Gotta get a new mod. Too expensive to do that. Most of the time, it'll give you a, a warning like check atomizer. Or it just won't fire. And you'll know something's up. And like I said, you know, I snugged it up. So now, hold that in. And I'm going to do a little twist to it. Line them up. Okay. As it's twisted, and I got my, my coiling rod in there, I'm going to go ahead and, and tighten them up. And with a dead rabbit, you can tighten them. I mean, you don't want to go too crazy because... You don't want to strip them, but you can really tighten them. And again, you just want to kind of even them out, you know, make it look pretty. Because it's what you get out of your vape and it's what time you take on here. Make sure I'm good. I'm not short now in anywhere. Yep, that's good. Now I know a lot of YouTubers, man, they do this stuff so smooth and quick and easy and they don't have the whole thing moving around in their hands. It's just 
kind of person I am. I like to be hands on and doing it. All right, guys. I really need to stop saying that. And gals, how's that? Looks good. I might bend that one back towards the outside here a little bit more. Just to make him even get him close to that air. Yeah. That's the one. That's a little bigger. Alright guys, so bring it up close here. Hopefully you guys can see it. Nice and even. You know, alien coils, flat flat wire. Love him. Alright, so now we're going to dry fire him. Check ohm. I'm reading 0.18. Let's dry fire and see what we got. Do we have any shorts? Oh, I saw one. There's one. So, let's see if I can show you guys this. See this line right here that's going to form when I hit the fire button? See that line? Okay, that's a short. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just strum it. Just strum the coil. And 100% of the time, it'll get out of there. And there's another one there, see? On this coil here, right there. So you'll just strum it. Now we're going to watch both coils, make sure they heat up evenly, inside out. You don't want them going different, you want them going inside out, getting hot together. See, that looks great. I might fire them a little bit, hold them together. Strum them a little bit. Just make sure I don't got no shorts, no hot spots. Good and hot. Yep. All right, go back, check, check the ohms. Okay, now I'm at 0.22. So just fixing the shorts, you know, I've dropped the ohms. All right. We'll let that cool, and then we'll throw some Native Wix cotton into it. And yeah, guys, I'm still learning the Native Wix cotton. I'm, I love it. My, I wicked my drop with it, and it really, man, it, yeah, it really's got the flavor. All right. Yep, still a little warm. Well, we can go ahead and get this cut. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We'll go. I don't know. There. I think we go there. That's good for both coils. Scissors. Skizzers. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll come in and kind of flatten it out a little bit, you know, get an idea of what I got. And I'll, I'll try separating it evenly. 
I don't know if this is the right way, guys, but so far, you know, playing with native wicks for the first time, it's what I've found that works. I'll let you know if I figure out a better way or find out a better way. It's just work, it's what works for me right now. All right. So now we're going to roll this cotton in our fingers and get it to a nice point like that, you know. Something that will fit through that inside them coils. So when you go to do it, you're going to run that sucker through there like that. Okay. Come over here. Grab and pull. See, this is where the native wicks thing, like I said, I'm still getting used to. You really got to be careful how you pull because it'll, you'll pull it apart. All right. Now the, the RDAs, there you want them a little snug. You know you don't want them go too super, too superly tight because that caught the juice won't soak up. You know, I'll, I'll like that. I'll leave it. So I'll spin it around. I'll go to this side. Now, remember I, on the last video I showed you guys, I sh there's a trick to save cotton. So I'm going to do that trick now because that fit really good and I don't want to have to roll more cotton. So you grab it. Okay. Oop, yep, I'm going to have to roll more cotton because that ends shot. Normally you can come in, pull through, and leave just enough for your, see how to cut this end? Cut this end over here. And then you can just pull through and then back back through that one. Make one cut here, and you're done. Pretty neat little trick. But yeah, like I said, you can just roll that point in there. Put that in. And pull it. And see, that one went better. Well, almost. I spoke too soon. There we go. Nope. That's too loose. So we'll get some new cotton here. Uh, the native wicks is going to be expensive. I can tell you that right now. For me. Not for the professionals. For this new guy right here, yeah, it's going to get kind of expensive. That might just be too much. You know what? This... See, and guys, honestly, Japanese organic cotton that comes in that flat pad, I haven't really found anything to really make me want to switch to this. I hear it's good, but, you know, it's... I haven't really made the turn yet. Plus, I still got a lot to learn on this stuff because it's different. It is definitely different. Oh, yeah, that's much better. And you guys see how I kind of wiggle it back and forth? I'm feeling for tension, how tight it is. That's not too bad. So, now I'll come in and I'll bend that down. I'll come in closer for you guys to see. Oh, nope, well, I won't because it's zoomed in. <laughs> Blooper! Okay, so come in, make a clip there on the bottom. Did you guys see how I bend it down? No, you didn't because it's out of screen. You bend it down just to the base of the dead rabbit, right? And make, make your cut. Same over here. And now you guys notice on my RDA, I didn't snip both sides. I did one side first, then I did the other. On the RTA. On the RDAs, you have a little bit more freedom because you're not drawn from a tank. You're dripping into it. So it gives you a lot more freedom on your wicking. 
Let me just go ahead and zoom out because that's just not working. There you go. There we go. But I still do a light comb out. I mean, I'll I'll do light. I won't go crazy. I'll do a real light comb out. Because the dead rabbit is just an an awesomely amazing RDA. I just, you cannot find really, I cannot find really anything wrong with, with the RDA itself. It is just an, an awesome, awesome RDA. And the, and the RDA, okay, so there, boom, I'm wicked. That's all it takes for wick and an RDA. Push it down, get it in there, done. Oh, sorry guys. I'll do the other side where you can see it. So you just grab it and just come in, boom, right down in your juice well. RDAs are awesome for just the easy, easy wicking. And, and you really, you really want to watch inside and make sure you're clear in here. Okay? You don't want any cotton coming in here you want it all out there because when you drip it's going to drip straight down and fill up that juice well and spread out okay and that's it guys um so i think we're going to use we're going to do this foster but the banana handcrafted in the usa High VG 3070 blend, 3 milligrams nicotine from sample box that I got today. Just might as well, you know, do a, do a build and do a new flavor from sample box. Hey, why not? And we'll just work it on there and we'll just wick that up. Get it nice and primed. And you guys see... You guys see when I'm wicking, I'm, I'm kind of dabbing at it and getting it inside there. So that way it's not, ooh, that does smell like bananas. Mm. Make my mouth water. And you just kind of wick, just get it in there and make sure it's all nice and, and wet. God, that really does smell like bananas. It smells like banana cream. Okay, we'll go to fire, and we'll fire it. And what that does is, is it gets that juice down inside them coils and the cotton. So when, when you hook it up and everything, you're good to go. You're, you got full vape. I mean, there's no dry hits. You're not going to dry hit off of it. All right, and we'll sit here and line up our, our vents here. Okay, and this is something else with RDAs. You gotta line up your vent with your coil. Drop it on, unscrew it. And you know what? I think we're gonna do this on my goon. So we'll, we'll unscrew the drop. If I can get it. There's the drop gun. We'll put that back on there. And like I said, guys, mech mods, straight. There's my fire button. Battery, top cap, and your RDA. There's nothing in between. And there it is. There is the dead rabbit wicked and ready to go. Well, let's, uh, let's go back up top and let's vape on it. Okay, guys. Well, that's the dead rabbit. Really fantastic RDA. 
Myself personally, I recommend anybody just getting into RDAs and starting to even begin building coils or installing coils, just building period, go with the dead rabbit for your first RDA. It is a good, good RDA. It will not let you down. Excellent flavor, excellent vape, easy to build. The, the post design of the dead rabbit is to the point to where there's no guessing on what side is positive negative it's very very simple very very easy to build on um, I love this RDA and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, again I'm sorry I take another hit <laughs> Ooh. A little harsh. <coughs> that banana. Wow. Yep. Um, bait production is awesome. Well, you know, yeah, went over the pros and cons on it. There's not, there's, there's not really any cons except for the fact the only con that I really know of is if you drip to the top and you drip too much and you go to take the top cap off and sit like that and you do like I've done a few times and you pull that cap off you just took a bath with your hands and juice that's really the only con about it and it's it's an easy and simple mistake to make with this RDA I can't even really call it a con because it's just human error um, hope you guys enjoyed the video please comment subscribe and leave a like for me and uh, see what you guys want to see on the next video I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys come back look forward to you guys watching me soon out